Hello and welcome to a short interview with Professor Mark Finlay, author of the book Globalization, Populism, Pandemics, and the Law. Let's join our interviewers Lehman and Sharanya from the SMU Center for AI and Data Governance to find out more. Hello and welcome. So, congratulations, Mark, on your book. Um, so your book cover is very interesting. You've got a mask right here on it. Um, can you explain the significance of this mask on your cover and why you decided to write this book? So why these four particular themes? Globalization, populism, pandemics and the law. I was writing the book at a time when the world was in crisis and that crisis has continued. And I was interested to understand why globalization was being blamed as the problem when in fact it could be part of the solution. Populism constantly was saying globalization was at fault. The pandemics, on the other hand, made us realize that global engagement was so important. And in fact, the mask, law is a mask. Law in many respects became part of the problem by focusing too heavily on private property and wealth creation and concealing those important values that are at the heart of law, that are meant to protect society. Reflecting on how the world is in a mess right now, so how do you think, in your opinion, um, things have gone wrong? I think the reason for the change, the degeneration, has been massive self-interest. The global economic order, neoliberalism, currently focuses on wealth creation, focuses on short-term gain, and the importance of long-term sustainability is sacrificed for the benefit of those who can make a fast profit. And do you think that uh, law has contributed to these problems, or can it be part of the solution? Well, there's no doubt that law has sold out, that law has become too focused on private property, too focused on commodities and markets, and become a support for neoliberalism. But that doesn't have to always be so. In fact, that there are many things behind law, the principles behind law, that are values that we need to keep in mind when we're moving towards a changed world. I think I speak for many when I say that not everyone understands law. So do you think that good change can only come from experts like yourselves or can the average person also play a part? How would this look like in reality? That's a great question. I think in fact the only way that we can move into a better world is if we individually and collectively take responsibility. We rely too heavily on experts and professionals and yet at the same time we've lost trust in these experts as well. And I think in many respects we have to take responsibility as communities and individuals and move towards a world which better reflects the principles on which law is based, fairness, justice and equity. Can you describe a better future that you envision for the younger generation in three words? Powerful for tomorrow. I think it's imperative that young people get involved in all aspects of the world which currently is in the state that it's in. I think to achieve that, young people have to change their values. And we're seeing that now, moving away from materialism and much more towards collective good, sustainability, and something which focuses more on the way in which we can change things rather than simply repeating the, the mistakes that we've made in the past. I think it means a change in lifestyle and a change in priorities and a change in the attitude that we have that we can't really do much until we get older and until we get into a position of power. Change has to happen now and if it doesn't happen now then what we'll find is that time will run out and if time runs out then talking about change really will be a waste of time. So we have now come to the end of our questions. So 
Thank you, Mark, for sharing your views with us. And congratulations again for this book. Everyone, thank you for listening.